Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. I, I found one. I found one. I think I found somebody crazier than Chili. Maybe crazier than most of the fraud editors on the actual YouTube uh, universe, whatever we're going to call it at this point. Now, I like to troll. I like to be a troll. I like to do trolly things. I like to have weird takes. I, I you know, I, I'm full of bad takes. I, I admit that. I fully do. I have some bad takes from time to time. But I don't think there's really one this legendary. I, I, I want to say this is probably the one take that's going to piss off the entire internet. Now, why do I say that? Why do I say that? Uh, the internet loves cats. We all do. We, we watch cat videos all the time. I have four cats, and I know what you're thinking. Probably disgusting, but I love cats. Our house isn't disgusting because of cats. I know, I know because I used to be that person. So, yeah, we, we, we take care of things. But I have four cats. I have two black cats. I have a white cat that has, like, different colored eyes, six toes, completely deaf. And I had this calico cat that has a skin condition that I'm trying to figure out. But I love cats. I, 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 I love them. They're my family. As somebody that can't have kids because, you know, I got a vasectomy, but I, I probably wouldn't have been able to have kids anyways because, you know, I had that one testicle issue. Yeah. But, you know, I, I love cats. I, I absolutely love them. And most people do. There's even a movie, a documentary called Don't Fuck With Cats. I don't think that's what it's called. I'm paraphrasing, but it's it's on Netflix. Don't mess with cats or something like that. But just to just say, the internet loves cats. We just all do. We just love them. But <laughs> some people have extraordinary takes, and this happens to be one of the biggest ones I've seen in a while. I saw this, and I was like, holy shit, we have to watch this and tear it apart. Because, wow, and this person has a lot of followers, and I'm pretty sure that she's going to have some awful take if she ever watches this video. But let's go ahead and get into it. This is from, I think it's That Vegan Teacher, am I right? Now, I don't have anything against you being vegan, vegetarian, a carnivore, or if you eat nails. I don't care what you do. But just like most things, I don't want them to be pushed in my face for saying, oh, if you eat this or if you do this, you're a horrible person. Now, there are things that can make you a horrible person, but we're not going to do this. But this is legendary. This is legendary. Let's go ahead and get started here. Let's go ahead and get started here. So let's let's go. Most of you won't like what I'm about to talk about. You'll think that it's a bit over the top. It really is. It really is. The, the, the title of the video, Should Cats Exist?, if not vegan, they should either be vegan veganized, 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 or euthanized. Choose one. That's a clickbait title. That is a clickbait title if I've ever seen one. But here we go. You'll think that it's a bit crazy, and you'll probably be angry also. But take a moment. Now, now here, here's the thing. If you love cats, this may this may trigger you just a little bit. Now she doesn't get like too too bad. She doesn't go into like detail and like murder all the cats, but it's still kind of disturbing. Try to open your mind and just stick with me for a sec. We take care of cats, right? I had two of them several years ago. They were my first animal companions when I became a registered nurse. Now, that's that's normal. We have pets for companionship. It's what makes us happy. Some of us, like I said, we don't have kids, but we have pets, and we treat them like family. And apparently she had cats, too. So something had to happen somewhere. And I don't know if it's if she became, like, super vegan that this decided to come in her mind that cats are evil and they should all die or something like that but you know maybe maybe you shouldn't be vegan and i love them dearly but since then i've become vegan and i've come to see things a little bit differently i now if i became a vegan am i automatically going to start seeing things differently i i know like my brother he used to say you know he had kids. He had kids. He said, kids will change you, man. They will change you. And, you know, I never got that because, hey, I don't have kids. But, you know, I have cats. And I have, you know, I'm married and stuff. 
But you know, I, I don't I don't know changing your diet is necessarily gonna make you change your outlook on things, especially when it comes to another living animal or anything like that. And by the way, by the way, the actual the actual title of this video, like veganize or euthanize kind of goes against her entire argument. And you'll see here. Don't get me wrong. I still find them absolutely gorgeous. And they are. And cute. They're so soft. And I like to be surrounded by them. I do too. But the truth is that cats have no place in our homes or in our lives at all. Okay, I'm just going to say immediately the first thing. What's the first thing I think of whenever I hear that? The first thing I want to say is, hey, go fuck yourself. Please get out of the building. Go fuck yourself. Get out of the cat section. Please get out of there. Just get out of, get out of there. You're actually screwing yourself up here. You really are. You're going to make a lot of people hate you. And yes. They have been bred into existence and kept with us as pets, but they should never have been. I mean, you could say the same thing about dogs and goldfish, lizards, snakes. I mean, we've bred them into existence. Animals, like, they are our companions. We love animals. We love them all. Most of them. Except for some of them. Some of them are pretty, pretty big assholes. Humans just enjoyed their company. And so they used them for entertainment and for comfort. Is there something wrong with that, though? Is there anything wrong with trying to have something to comfort you? I mean, I don't know about you. I Like, whenever I pet my cat or if I pet a dog, I I feel pretty happy. It's like a dopamine thing. It just makes it feel really good. Like, it's just awesome. You have this little animal that decides to hang out with you all day. I don't know why. I'm not very entertaining. But for some odd reason, that cat over there or that dog thinks I'm entertaining as hell. So I mean I'm going to I'm going to love it and that animal is going to love you like unconditionally more so than any person or anything could love you except for maybe Jesus cuz Jesus kind of that's different but you know cats and dogs they love you for they just love you man well I don't know man, cats can be dicks sometimes let's just go ahead and face it but they still love you but the sad thing is that for every person who has a cat they are paying people to murder all kinds of other innocent animals. And that's not right. Every so, so feeding the cat with other types of animals, let's say fish, tuna, stuff like that, that's bad. That's bad. Don't, don't feed yourself. Don't eat. Don't eat, by the way. So by her logic, if you eat anything that's, I don't know, from the grocery store that has cats. <laughs> Not cats! No, 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 no. Fish, meat, you know, whatever. You're, you're a horrible human being. You need to die or something. But, you know, she's wanting these animals to die because they're living. Every time you buy cat food, you're paying somebody to murder other innocent animals who also had a... Hang on, hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Since, uh... Since we're here, we're doing keto, but we're carnivores. See this piece of meat? This probably belonged to some animal. I'm sorry, but that animal decided to feed me, feed my fat ass, so I can try to get healthier. But I'm going to eat this brat. That's a good brat. That's really good. Like, that's a good piece of meat. I, I am thankful for that animal that died so I can eat this piece of meat so I can continue <laughs> so I can continue breathing <laughs> sorry the right to live the fish on this package wanted to live the fish on this package had a right to live His yeah have you ever seen Finding Nemo like I mean I guess it may, maybe you feel bad after watching Finding Nemo, but you have to eat that filet of fish from McDonald's. You're like, man, I just ate uh, Nemo. I feel terrible. And you bite into your second sandwich that happens to be a Big Mac full of beef. I don't know. 
His or her life was as valuable as the life of a cat. The cows in the industry who are abused in order to make this cheese also had a right to live. Now, I love cheese. I, I'm just going to tell you, I, I do love cheese. I, I do love cheese. And, you know, I love cows. I love cows and I love cheese, but I also love steak and stuff like that. So, you know. And not be exploited just for cat food. This package says no cruelty tested. But it now, aren't you like the title of your video says veginized or euthanized? Aren't you wanting to kill the animal that's living and your whole shtick is all oh, animals died because you have to eat meat because you're a stupid asshole? Is that is that what it is? Like, does the animal have to die? Does the cat have to die just because, you know, it's natural instincts like it's eight fish, eight mice, eight rabbits, eight squirrels. Now we're just feeding it like dry kibble and stuff like that. I mean. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a stretch. Maybe, maybe. But I, you know, I would think cats for millennia, like, ate meat. That doesn't mean their assholes need to be euthanized. Contains the body of an innocent animal. If your cats are not vegan yet, what are you waiting for? If your I, I think if you made a cat or a dog or anything vegan... That's doing way worse for it than anything, I think. I mean, let the cat eat what it wants. For, for I mean, for fuck's sake. Garfield eats lasagna. You don't see anybody saying shit about him except for John. And you can say whatever you want about John. He's an asshole. Oh, Garfield wants his lasagna, and he's just trying to keep it away. Is, is she John? Is she female John? Is John vegan? Cats are not vegan. You're paying for animal abuse. And that's wrong. Go on Facebook and join a group called Vegan Cats to learn how to veganize your cat. I, I don't think, I, I, I'm going to end it at that, but I, I, I honestly don't think, I, I don't think anybody's going to go to that Facebook group. I don't see it being very successful. Now, like I said, you're probably drumming up this as being a troll, and I get you. If you're a troll, that's amazing. That's some good trolling. That's some next level shit. But... You know, like I said, we don't need to euthanize cats just because what they choose to eat. As they've been doing it since the beginning of time. You know, the lions and the cheetahs and the tigers. Are you telling? Let's go ahead and kill them too, since they're eating those poor innocent antelope. Let's let's just kill every single creature on this planet that <laughs> that's living because they ate meat. Like, let's do that. Let's do that. She's like female Hitler. In my opinion. By the way, guys, this is all my opinion. I can't prove it. But come on! Go fuck yourself, please! I, 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 had, I had to do this one. This one was funny to me, so... I don't have any hate for this lady. I just think it's funny. I think it's a silly argument. I think, you know, we should be able to feed our animals. We should be able to feed ourselves whatever the fuck we want without being, like, humiliated or told to go you know, get murdered or something like that because you ate a fish. I, I, I don't know. I like fish fillets, but, you know. Guys, I love you very much. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.